this is Ralph Cartriano, just showing you the top three, at least what we feel, the top three health news stories of the past seven days, ending this 4th of January, 2016. First one, sugar and western diets increase the risk of breast cancer tumors and metastasis. Number two, early life exercise alters gut microbes, promotes healthy brain and metabolism. And number three, music therapy increases the effectiveness of pulmonary rehabilitation for COPD patients. In brief, let us begin. Sugar and western diets increase the risk for breast cancer tumors and metastasis. What researchers did is they found that sucrose intake in mice comparable to levels of luxury and western diets increased tumor growth and metastasis when compared to non-sugar starch diets. The irony to this basically is the fact that they said no previous studies had been invest done to investigate the direct effect of sugar consumption on development of breast cancers using breast cancer animal models or examine specific mechanisms, which to me is just beyond me, considering the fact is we've had spent so much in the war on cancer, no one ever looked at added sugar. What they did also too, at six months of age, 30% of the mice on a starch control diet had measurable tumors, whereas 50 to 58% of mice on sucrose enriched diets had developed mammary tumors. Uh, the study also carried over to uh, what sucrose and fructose in regard to lung cancers as well. Next story up in lung. Early life exercise alters gut microbes, promotes healthy brain and metabolism. What they discovered was microbes take up residence of the immune intestine shortly after birth and are vital to the development of the immune system and various neural functions. These microbes can add as many as 5 million genes into a person's overall genetic profile and thus have tremendous power to influence aspects of human physiology. As you kind of know, but when you look at a 5 million genes to a person's genetic profile, that's pretty amazing. The study found that juvenile rats who voluntarily exercised, I'd like to see that, Every day developed a more beneficial microbial structure, including the expansion of probiotic bacterial species in their gut compared to both sedentary counterparts and adult rats, even when the adult rats exercise as well. So those that started out early obviously have even better effects than adult rats who soon start exercising as they were adults. A robust, healthy immune uh, community of gut microbes also appears to promote healthy brain function and provide antidepressant effects, researchers said. Previous research has shown that the human brain responds to microbial signals from the gut through the exact communication methods, although are still under investigation. And round off a third story, music therapy increased the effectiveness of pulmonary rehabilitation for COPD patients. So what they did was they did six weeks and of these patients, they gave each session to a live music, visualizations, wind instruments, playing and singing, which incorporated breath control techniques part there. Patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and other chronic respiratory disorders who receive music therapy in conjunction with standard rehabilitation saw an improvement in symptoms, uh, psychological well-being, and quality of life compared to patients receiving rehabilitation alone, according to the study. The results of this study provide a comprehensive foundation for the establishment of music therapy intervention as part of pulmonary rehabilitation care. And thank you very much for listening. These were the top three medical stories that we feel over the past seven days, this 4th of January, 2016, and we'll catch you next week. Ralph Channel signing off.